All right, hello everybody. This is, uh, well, it's just my aquarium. I'm doing the, you know, the assignment and pretty late outside, so it um, shouldn't be light on this late. But anyways, um, it's on right now to show you guys the aquarium. This is, um, well, the other one has fish, so I don't want to bother them this late. Uh, uh, this late, you know what, I'll just gonna show you guys. Fish tank on the door. This is my main aquarium. See all the fish in there, they're nice. Hello, hello, fishies. Hello. Two zebra tails. Ten gallon aquarium. Nice. Alright, back to the smaller aquarium. So this is my first ever planted aquarium um, I ever made. It's um, it's fairly simple to be honest. Um, the hardscape, which is just the rocks and the wood, it's the um, spider wood in the middle, as you can see, and uh, two huge rocks that I have. Absolutely no idea what they are. Plants, very simple. No idea how to keep plants. So keeping it simple. Luigia Paularis and Luigia, I forgot what it is, and Java Fern in the middle, um, Christmas Moss, and yeah, I forgot what this is, but yeah, it's from South America. No, it's like from North America. They're very easy to um, grow, doing pretty well. Most of the plants are doing well, I mean, except for the Luigia back there, as you can see, it's a stem is like all... Uh, all turning um, brown. Uh, I don't know why it's doing that. I mean, many people report it's saying that uh, the Uruguigias are like having black stem and they die. The bottom part of the stem just completely dies when they put it into a tank. But uh, yes, that's like thirty dollars worth of plants. So and that's a big sacrifice too. Yeah, uh, everything else doing great. Um, Christmas moss, obviously growing there and well mm, normally they will require a little bit of co2 and a stronger light than this but he brought this pretty strong light right here um having some algae problem in the aquarium you can't really see it like but the sand is usually all uh white but now with the algae growing in it it's well you can see it's turning to kind of greenish and yeah uh, so I think it's gonna be fine. Have been reducing the lighting hour per day and the uh, light intensity. So mm, hopefully it gets better. And also, yeah, I'm just show you guys the look dying look widgia. Look, the top stem. This look widgia. I'm saying it's dying. Top stem, healthy. Bottom stem, mushy and dying. I have no idea what's going on. I mean, the top leaf is red, that means it's having sufficient light, mm, so I have no idea what the bottom part is doing, but, I mean, they are doing very well over there. Yeah. So, yep, that's like, basically my uh, five gallon aquarium, and, oh, by the way, if you don't know, that green stick over there, that's a heater, that's the fil uh, filter input, that's the filter output, that's the filter. It's a huge bit up. Ah, yeah. It's a pin down there. Um, it's, it's a canister filter, which is um, called external filter, basically. They circulate the water from here, down here, all the way with this green tube down to the intake. And then it goes through the media, goes up this green pipe, goes all the way up here and into the aquarium back again. This is, I mean, I'm really happy with this aquarium right now, except for the Luigia, of course. So, hmm, pretty good. And, uh, I don't think really, I don't know what to talk about else, but I'm just going to, well, normally in this, uh, like normally in my big aquarium, um, out there, um, I would do water testings, um, but, well, there's literally no fish in here, no point in water testing, so, bleh, but I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do it to show you guys, like, what it's like to water test, so uh, I'll be right back.
this is my cabinet. Don't want to show the rest of the room. It's all the anyways. So this fish keeping and ant keeping equipment, the most expensive, well, myself owned bin in this entire uh, bloody room. And where's the water test again? Yes, this is the bloody water test kit. There you are. Yeah, I'm not really looking at nice. Oh, that's the aquarium store, by the way. That's the sand. Nothing else. That's ant keeping. And yeah. Goodbye. I also say hello to my ants over there. Hey. Okay, bye. I'll be right back. Going back to the aquarium. This process of filming might be very blurry since ow, um, the chemical in this water test kit is highly corrosive and poisonous and toxic. So if I stick my finger in there, I will probably no longer have a finger anymore. So yes, it's dangerous. Kids, don't play with it. But anyways, this is like the most important equipment in fish keeping. Obviously tells you um, all, the, uh, all what's in like the water with like the harmful chemical uh, um, chemical and like basically everything that you need to know or like the parameters you need to know to make your fish happy. So there's um, it tests pH, tests um, well there's two type of pH uh, ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate, which is the three most important um, parts in the nitrogen cycle in the aquarium that you need to know. So, this bad boy cost me $40. And I hope it's in good use. Uh, manual, I already know what you do. Actually, no, I do not know what you do. So, first, so test two, get out. I'm going to take. Oh, I already cracked two test tubes. I really need to be careful. Need to take five millimeters of water a sample from the aquarium up to this white line. So I'm gonna dump it in here. Might not see the test tube. I'm focusing on the thing right now. Huh. Help. Whoop. Okay, that's perfect. Don't spill any of that. Five milli millimeters, I mean milliliters of water. Now, where am I gonna put this camera while I do this very dangerous operation? Oh, hello, telescope. Um. I hope this doesn't fall off. Yeah, this doesn't work. Hmm. So I'm gonna put it here. No, that's the wrong way. Oh, we know that's the right way. La la la. No. Just one second. Um. So I'm not gonna do much. Um, when I test the water. Um. Well, I'm just gonna black the screen when I test the water because it's very dangerous. I don't want myself getting hurt. So first, ammonia. Which one is ammonia? I forgot. Yes, this is ammonia. So, um, you basically add content from these into the test tube water, and you add the designated uh, drops. And and well, there's two bottles for this. So we have add the number one first, and then the number two, which is yeah, and then the number two, uh, with the required drops uh, second, and then you. Uh, shake the test tube and then wait for the water to um, for it to mix in and then you match it with this car so you can see how many wait how many would do measure ammonia how many ppm of ammonia is in the water okay so let's get this going eight drops of ammonia number one this thing is highly toxic can corrosive can corrode metal so very dangerous one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. All right, perfect. Gotta put the cap on quick because, well, got eight drops of the first bottle content in there. Gotta put the cap on before I spill this whole thing and lose my entire hand. Now for the bottle number two. So for this um, particular ammonia testing, you need um, two bottles of different solutions. So you can get this. That way you can get the uh, correct reading. So I'm going to add a second one to that. So be right back. Also eight drops. That's nice. Uh, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. Close the test tube so I don't melt my finger off. And close this. All right, so we finished adding the solution. So it should be ready to be shaken up. I don't want to drop this. I dropped two already and they all broke and dropped. Harmful chemical all over the house. My dad was very mad. Okay, shake this for 30 seconds or one minute. It says two minutes, but no, it says one minute, but I find 30 seconds <clears throat> uh, adequate for this. Oh, okay. Nice. It's, you see color starting to develop in the vial. That way you can walk, match it with the chart. So oh, I think I got some of these stuff on my finger. That's not good. La 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 la, I think that's good. Put it on the table. Take out the chart. Right. So ammonia, so you basically, so this is the chart that you match the color of the water with. So as we can see, this is ammonia, the current thing we're testing. So uh, it shows, the color shows how many ppm of ammonia is in the water. Hey, surprisingly, not very high, 0.25 ppm under 0.50 ppm is adequate for fish, but obviously there's no fish in there, so more ammonia, more fertilizers for plants. So not angry about that, nah, that's pretty good. Right, so that's how you test water in an aquarium. Fairly easy if you don't melt your finger off. So. This is Nate Light Maintenance. Well, not really maintenance. I usually won't be doing this. But this is, well, finished. Okay. Uh, goodbye.